what's up uh, Merry Christmas it's December 23rd uh, as I'm recording this I'm not sure when I'll get it posted but hopefully uh, in the next couple of days uh, it's a beautiful day out here um, we're very blessed I know up in Oregon right now it's like 17 degrees and in other places in the, the country it's like negative 10 and you know crazy temperatures right now it's about 70 degrees out here right now at, at about noon uh, I'm on holiday break. Uh, one thing that I've completely neglected uh, is my lawn. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really do anything. I, I'm sure you guys, ho hopefully you guys have been following my big project series that I did. Uh, all of my free time pretty much is spent on that project the last month or so. Uh, now that I've kind of wrapped that up, the first couple days of holiday break, I've you know, kind of just been chilling, playing a little bit of poker, um, doing a bunch of different random stuff. Went down to my field one day and, and cleaned up my field a little bit. but. Uh, another part of, of the reason why I haven't been really taking care of my yard other than time is I sold my Alec Kensington. Um, it's my baby, really sad about that. It's gone, so right now I'm kind of in between uh, mowers right now. Uh, I still have an Alec Liberty 43, brand new in box. And yes, I could open that up today and use that and it would be perfect. However, I'm trying to sell it and I would rather sell it brand new. Uh, than used. Did order, uh, really excited. I ordered a brand new Allet Sterling, uh, but those are kind of on back order. I'm not going to get it till sometime in January. They said the de deliveries are coming in early January, so I don't know when I'm going to actually see that. Uh, so right now I don't really have a mower to use. Uh, what I'm going to use today is my big stadium mower, which is way, way too big for this yard. I'm not using my C34. That's I can't even get that into the backyard, but I'm gonna use my uh, RM34. Uh, uh, I never put this on this yard, so we're gonna put this on the yard today just so I can mow with something. Do a little bit of cleanup, do a little bit of, you know, uh, edging, uh, you know, just kind of clean some things up. I think the lowest that I can mow with this thing is 15 millimeters. Yeah, so 15 millimeters is just over a half an inch. An inch, I believe, is 25 millimeters. Uh, and so if I want to mow it three quarters of an inch, I think the math on that's like 18.5 or 18.75. So I'm gonna kind of set this thing between the 15 and 20 on both sides. Alright, so to adjust the height of cut on these uh, RM34s, you just turn these knobs, it's really con uh, convenient. You go to the left to go lower, you go to the right to get higher, and then as I mow that, or I I mow that, as, as I turn that, that adjusts down on both sides. i got to kind of do this alternately, I can't bring it all the way down just on one side first. You've got a knob for both sides. Look at all those bees, all these bees that are floating around here in late December. All right, so that's right between the 15 and 20. Take my word for it on the other side. Um, man, my brush, I might have to bring my brush up a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna, I may have to adjust this brush up a little bit. I'm not used to mowing at this low of a height of cut. Uh, with this mower um, but that should be about three quarters of an inch uh, we're gonna fire this thing up and
the hell. All right, this is still about 18 or so millimeters, and I just scalped the crap out of my grass. Um, I obviously need to raise the height of cut on this because I just like scalped this thing. Um, definitely don't want to go that low. I don't understand that. That setting's got to be off because look at this. Like I freaking just cut the crap out of this. Gosh dang it. Well, so much for having a nice yard. Um, I'm going to raise the height of cut and try to cut a little bit higher here. Yeah, so just freaking ticked off. I can't believe that thing scalped like that. Um, all right, so I raised this up to 25 millimeters, which is one inch. Um, I guess it can't do worse than that, right, since I raised it a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go at 25 for another pass, and we'll see if that's a little better. like three quarters of an inch so I don't know if that thing's off or what this is what I intended to cut at oh, let me turn my ball around. okay so um, that is much better that looks like three quarters of an inch even though I have it set at one inch I don't know if rotary versus reels different or if this mower is just off I'm guessing the mower is just off uh, but that's a nice, really good, that's the best cut I've ever seen out of a, a rotary mower. Um, that is tight. Much better. So that's definitely what I'll cut out there. And I'm actually really happy with that. That I didn't think, I didn't think with a rotary mower I was going to be able to get that clean of a cut. And I did. So really happy about that. This probably got cut over here at, I don't know, way less than three quarters. Probably one half or lower. So finish up this front yard like that and I'll keep the backyard setting on that as well. I actually may raise the backyard just a little bit only because I've literally mowed my backyard once in like a month. It was in the dark right before I sold that owl at Kensington. So there's where we're at right now. Okay, um, man, actually, I really like the way this thing cut, other than obviously that first stripe that I totally screwed up. Uh, I'm not going to really mess around with some cleanup cuts over here because this thing's so massive. I don't know if you can see those stripes. This stripe's pretty nice, especially not for, for first pass over it. Nothing really dialed in. That looks really good. Whoa, I'm tripping over a over a plant over here but that's where that's what it looks like right there really happy about that i'm going to get this sidewalk strip over here done um it's going to be kind of challenging going around this uh 
little tree. I don't know. In fact, I'm probably not going to go around this little tree here, and I'm going to use my little scissors attachment. i got a new scissors attachment that I'm going to debut today. Um, I'll use that kind of around there, and, and to kind of use the use for the cleanup cut here on these corners. Okay, so um, this has a bunch of different speed settings on it. This is neutral all the way up to uh, super speed, and I've got this on the lowest setting there. That's why it was kind of crawling. I kind of like that that feature of it, but oh, man, look at that freaking stripe. That is fire right there. I really like this thing um, on this yard here. Uh, that's a really, really good clean cut. Gosh, for a rotary mower, I love that. Um, this thing's way too big for me to use it full time on my yard. If I had a, a much bigger yard, uh, I would use this thing like full time on it, but uh, I don't. Uh, but I'm excited to see this thing on the backyard because the backyard's quite a bit bigger, so I'll have a little bit more space. Um, but yeah, man, this is fire, other than, of course, this one little scalp area, but lesson learned. Um, that'll come back. We'll be fine. Yeah, you excited? Good boy. Yeah, it's the first time you've been out here for a while. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Okay, so uh, what do I think? Uh, so I don't know if you remember, I think I posted a long time ago. I had kind of a pea spot here. That's kind of filled in. It's still not uh, fully filled in. I have this spot over here I always deal with that, that kind of gets crushed by this. Um, by this plant here. And then also my dog just loves to breacher when I have the fence down uh, loves to just pee right here it's kind of like a spot so I am going to kind of clean this up here today I don't know that I'm going to put this as part of the same video um, I'll probably leave all that out or maybe I'll just do a quick time lapse I want this video kind of dedicated to that stadium mower on my yard here um, yeah we still have some real thin spots here um, in this backyard this backyard gets so much shade you can see this it's like what time is it? it's like noon isn't it it's one o'clock it's one o'clock here and you can see how much shade this thing gets no sun over here so that's why this backyard looks considerably worse take a break for a second here just to chat um, so I would never normally use this mower here uh, just because the turn radius and, and I'm not too worried about you know turning right now but if I had to turn this thing the way I've been turning this with this ba these back wheels I would I would tear my yard up um, in no time at all 
But yeah, obviously it stripes really good. I don't know, the sunlight's not ideal to, to see the striping, but uh, you can kind of see how it looks like right here. The, and again, I mentioned this before, this backyard is barely growing is in comparison to the front yard uh, due to the sunlight. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I barely got any clippings here um, in my bag. I clipped a little bit, but not much. Uh, I had more, uh, I had more clippings in my front yard um, overall than I did uh, in this first half. And there's more square footage in what I've already mowed than, than in the front in the total. So uh, I'll stick at this, um, do a little time lapse of the rest of my mowing here. Uh, but again, would I use this regular time on my mow on my yard? Absolutely not. Um, is it cool? Yes, it's really cool. Uh, if you have a much bigger yard than mine and you've got better areas where you can like run off Like and turn around where you're not like turning on the grass um, It would be a great mower a phenomenal mower uh, But in the setting that I have where I can't just run this off there Turn around down there on concrete or on sidewalk or on you know an infield, you know dirt or something and then turn around uh, Certainly would not use this long term uh, here in my yard, but it is a great mower. Uh, really love this thing. Um, if you have a better setup than I do for it, use it, buy it, and um, yeah, thanks for following along, guys. Merry Christmas, and uh, leave me any comments. Hit a like for me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I've always got cool footage, and check out that big project uh, footage videos that I just posted. Uh, I haven't even posted all of them. I'm not finished with it yet, but uh, check those out if you get a chance. All right, guys.